Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Sandy Beans. Who is Sandy Beans? It's not a who, it's a what. We're going to take some boring beans and make them so much more exciting with sand. But not regular sand. Edible, delicious, crunchy breadcrumb sand. All right, so let me show you how to do this. Could not be easier. I'm gonna take a skillet over medium heat and add some olive oil. I'm actually using garlic infused olive oil, which I will explain how to make on the blog. And I'll also do that in an upcoming video. I'm also gonna add some breadcrumbs and a couple tablespoons of real Parmesan cheese, Reggiano. And I'm gonna give that a mix and it's gonna look like wet sand. And I suggest using a freakishly small wooden spoon if you have one. And what we're going to do is we're going to toast this over medium heat until it turns a beautiful golden brown. And I know what you're thinking. Hey, your breadcrumbs are already golden brown. How will I know when it's done? All right, so you're going to have to pay close attention to how it looks, but you're also going to have to use your sense of smell because when this is getting close, it's going to have that delicious toasted bread smell, okay? So breadcrumbs really don't smell like anything, but when you toast them in the oil, you're definitely going to get that aroma of cooked bread. So enticing, okay? So you can see that it's kind of getting a little darker. When it gets to that point and you think you're almost done, I'm going to throw in another couple tablespoons of cheese. I don't like to add it all at the beginning because I think it has more of a tendency to clump up. So I like to add a little bit at the beginning and a little bit here at the end. I'm going to stir that in, cook that for just another minute or two. I don't want to get it too dark. Okay, I don't want dark brown. I want a beautiful, just past golden brown color. And like I said, the smell will tell you it's done. All right, and there you can see what it looks like when it's done. It looks like sand. Delicious, crispy, crunchy, cheesy sand. Okay, now if you want to add some hot pepper to this, some cayenne, some black pepper, go for it. Does it need salt? I don't know, maybe. The Parmesan might have taken care of that. But if you need to salt it a little, go ahead. And that's done. Come on, that was super easy, right? All right, I'm gonna set that aside. And in the same pan, hey, why waste another pan? In the same pan, I'm gonna add a can of white beans. So these beans were rinsed carefully and drained very carefully with a pinch of salt, a little splash of olive oil, a little bit of cayenne, a little, little bit of vinegar. And over medium, low heat, I'm just gonna warm those beans up. And I really like to warm beans up like this in a pan. All right, it's only going to take you about five minutes. When the beans are heated through, I'm going to add some fresh parsley and then copious amounts of my amazing toasted Parmesan breadcrumbs. And that's it. As soon as you toss it with the beans, you're ready to serve. By the way, also fantastic on pastas. That's right. Top a pasta with this. All right, so there's other things you can do with this. Don't be surprised if you see me use this in the future. And yes, I will, like I said, show you how to make garlic oil. So easy. So I'm going to plate this up. Of course, I'm going to top it with a few extra breadcrumbs because, you know, why wouldn't you? Maybe a little extra parsley, you know, for the photo. And that's it. I call these sandy beans. Why? Well, earthy, soft, delicious beans coated in a crispy, crunchy, sandy, but deliciously sandy breadcrumb mixture. I mean, what a great combination. All right. So I know you're probably upset. You haven't seen this technique earlier. You're all like, hey, where has this technique been all my life? But don't be mad. Now you know you can do this the next time you make beans. Anyway, head over to foodwishes.com to get all the ingredients as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.